Starting gate up to Vance Cameron for the call. J.J. Scarlett, J.J. Linda, Mermaid Magic, Windermere Mia Grace, and Woodmere Jazz. Top of the strut. Approaching a start. The rough end facing J.J. Scarlet and Woodmere Jazz, the first two out. J.J. Linda third into the turn to get away fourth, Mermaid Magic. Then the early trailer, Windermere, Mia Grace. They arrive at the eighth pole, led by J.J. Scarlet at the rail, in line to Don Gillis, Jr. Chalked away now in the two-hole. That's Woodmere Jazz, alone third is J.J. Linda racing from fourth, Mermaid Magic, and the trailer is Windermere Mia Grace in straight alignment at the opening quarter. The post-time one to nine chalk right on the engine here, and that is J.J. Scarlet off at 29 seconds, flat opening quarter. Woodmere Jazz is second, J.J. Linda third around the turn, Mermaid Magic is fourth, and Windermere Mia Grace is the trailer. Positions are unchanged as they move towards the opening half mile, and that is J.J. Scarlet, the midway point leader by two on Woodmere Jazz. Racing third is J.J. Linda, then fourth is Mermaid Magic, and continuing to trail, Windermere Mia Grace. They're over to the half in 59 seconds flat. They're still chasing J.J. Scarlet has the two-length advantage at 5 eight. Woodmere Grace up the rail second, moving up third on the outside. Mermaid Magic underway. J.J. Linda now fourth, and rough gated at the back. That is Windermere Mia Grace. Three quarters coming next, and J.J. Scarlet gets him there. Giving chase in the two-hole is Woodmere Jazz from the outside. Side third, Mermaid Magic, three quarters up in one. 28 and four, going to the seven eight. She's opened up a clear three now. That is JJ Scarlet turning for home. Battle on for the deuce. Woodmere Jazz is second. Mermaid Magic third. JJ Linda in this division of the Lady Slipper. JJ Scarlet takes Don Gillis Jr. all the way. Tight for the deuce. Woodmere Jazz up against Mermaid Magic in the place picture. Time for the mile in one fifty eight flat. Here comes the slow-mo replay from the afternoon's fourth race brought to you by Universal Media. And we saw J.J. Scarlett go right down the road here this afternoon. No real surprise, Kurt. Yeah, J.J. Scarlett guarding the rail there around the first turn as Barrio was making sure that Danny was on his toes around that first turn as Woodmere Jazz left off the gate hard too as well, but then had to take a back seat to J.J. Scarlett. And that's how they sat through the early panels of 29.59 flat, 128.4. The three Mermaid Magic and Brody McPhee come first up here this afternoon. They race well, and they're in a photo for second here between the five uh, Woodmere Jazz and the three uh, Mermaid Magic. But it was Danny Gillis and J.J. Scarlett going all the way. A nice effort on the off track, 158 flat as they capture the first Lady Slipper Gold here this afternoon, purse 17550 Congratulations to the connections, and we'll see them back in the Woodmere Standard Breads Winter Circle in just a moment. And congratulations to you, my friend, on nailing that triactor in the fourth.
J.J. Scarlett moving to the fourth race winner's circle. Big facing Philly 2 by Tobago Kays. Off the image of Don Dam, J.J. Hannah Don. Owned by W.W.G. McGinnis and McKinnon's table of Inverness, Nova Scotia. Philly bred by Jamie McKinley. Trained by Walter Walker. Don Gillis Jr. had her on top at every call. Time of the mile in 158. J.J. Scarlett. In the Lady Slipper. Just to note, Vance, that Julie Jamison, Executive Director with the Prince of Rhode Island Harness Racing Industry Association, is doing those trackside presentations today. So a shout out to her as well.